Zhou Yu! Oh. Lord Zhou Yu, Lord Zhou Yu. Hey! Lord Zhou Yu! No matter how busy you might be, I'll always be there to smile for you. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Out channel. Welcome back to the series where we're counting down the top Dynasty Warriors characters as of the latest game. Coming in at number 65, we have Zhao Xiao. Zhao Xiao is the younger of the two Chiaos, making her Da Xiao's younger sister and Zhou Yu's wife. Prior to the Battle of Chi Bi, Zhu Ge Liang told her husband that Cao Cao wanted his wife. So Zhu Ge Liang told Zhou Yu that Cao Cao wanted his wife, Zhao Xiao. And uh, this considerably upset Zhou Yu and led to his approval to go to war, which is kind of interesting to think about that, you know, Zhu Ge Liang was talking to Zhou Yu like, hey, Cao Cao's coming, you know, because he wants your wife. And Zhou Yu's like, oh no, we're going to war now. <laughs> It almost makes it seem like the Battle of Chibi was for Zhao Chao, but um, Cao Cao was already going to advance down there, and you know war was inevitable at some point, but um, just a little interesting fact about that. Also, Zhao Chao's name, um, her exact name in history is unknown, but Zhao means little or younger, so her name literally translates to younger Chao. She is the younger sister of Da Chao. Da Chao's name translates literally to older Chao. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the popularity polls to see why Zhao Chao is down here at number 65. In the first popularity poll, Zhao Chao received 682 votes out of a total of 75,000, putting her at the 45th spot. In the second popularity poll, Zhao Chao drops down to 55th, and then in my personal ranking, she's all the way down at 69th. So Zhao Chao's all the way down at 69th for me. I don't really see, she's not really a favorite of mine or anything like that. Not really a fan of her like personality. She's a very upbeat character, very upbeat, cheerful. And uh, throughout the game and the series, you can see this, uh, especially in Dice Wars 9, you can see a very... A cheerful and almost cheerleader type of personality that she has very upbeat very outgoing very like you know trying to inspire the truth let's go guys you know we can do it kind of thing come on everybody let's do our best out there and uh, I mean there's nothing wrong with that um, it's always going to be positive and stuff like that I just you know it's just not really my type of uh, character and uh, of course her weapon style which we'll go into a little later with the fans um, it's okay I mean it's not the uh, worst weapon to use it's definitely not the best but um, it's an okay weapon I'd had a little bit of fun playing with it, but we'll go through that as we go through her weapon style and everything like that. Well, let's start off with her personality and go into more in-depth or as much depth as we can with her upbeat personality. So Zhao Chao is a carefree and cheerful young teenage girl who is gutsier than her sister when hopping into action. And uh, so like I said, she's a very cheerful person. She's not very um, detail-oriented. She's very straightforward and honest. Like, whatever needs to be done, she could care less about the details. As long as she's told, hey, you need to go here. We need to beat these guys. Um, that's all she needs. And one of the events of Dynasty Warriors 9, she didn't even remember who they were going against. She was just like, all right, guys, I don't know who we're going against, but let's just go beat them anyway. Besides, I'm pretty tough, you know. I'll take on that. What's his name again? Oh, who cares? I'll give him a good beating. Although Zhao Chao seems like a very, you know, sweet and young person, she's actually a very capable fighter. Um, however, though, her lack of restraint often gets her in trouble and she often needs rescuing from it. But um, she's a very capable fighter and uh, she acts in a manner that is more childish than her sister. So you wouldn't expect her to be a capable fighter, but she actually was. And then if you couldn't tell by the intro, she adores her husband's attention and tries her hardest to impress him, Zhou Yu. Um, she calls her husband Lord Zhou Yu, but she additionally calls him all sorts of pet names throughout the series and stuff like that. But she is very vying for that attention from Zhou Yu, very much looking for approval. And, you know, she's doing the right thing, doing whatever she can in order to help him um, because she understands that he's a very, very, he's a very busy person. The right hand man of Sun Se before he passes away. And then, of course, the right hand man to Sun Quan, especially with all his strategies and, you know, just trying to help him out and uh, directing the right path for the Wu Kingdom and everything like that. But... Um, let's go ahead and jump into her weapon style now. Like I've mentioned before, she has the fan. And uh, she's been in the game since Dynasty Warriors 3. And she's pretty much had the exact same weapon throughout the entire game. Now, regardless if it's the twin fans or if it is the iron fan or if it's one fan or if it's two fan, she's been using fans since the beginning of her playable debut, which is back in Dynasty Warriors 3. And uh, like I said, the weapon style is okay. I'm not really a big fan of it. It's not the worst weapon I've played as. In the like the earlier titles, Dynasty Warriors 3, 4, 5, uh, her weapon was more favorable to play as. It was a lot easier to use her weapons. She had a very good AoE attack to take down hordes of enemy at one time. Um, but as you progress through the game, 6, 7, 8, and 9, um, a lot of her moves are also relatively the same. 7, 8, and 9, I believe Dynasty Warriors 6 as well. Her moose style is pretty much the same. And uh, there's no really changes in that, but... 
Um, I mean, it's not nothing too flashy, nothing too crazy. I did like her aerial Musao in Dynasty Warriors. I believe it was Dynasty Warriors 8 or Dynasty Warriors 7, and she, like, drops a fireball. On top. That was pretty cool to see. Um, I enjoyed using that Musao, but um, nothing too flashy other than that with her moveset. So uh, I'm not, I wasn't really that fond of the fan style. I mean, it's fine for people who like to use Zhao Chao or perhaps Da Chao because Da Chao also uses fans in some of the games. So uh, it just wasn't really a personal favorite of mine, but... Um, yeah, she pretty much just uses the fans from the first game she's in all the way up to the latest game that she's been in so far. Now let's jump into her appearance. Her appearance, just like her weapon style, pretty much stays the same throughout the entire game. She has an upbeat, uh, colorful, uh, positive uh, kind of attire, you know, very colorful, very cheery. And it just goes well with her personality of, you know, being that upbeat person, being very cheerful, that cheerleader type like I've described before. But nothing to complain about. I mean, if you played as Da Xiao in the first game that she was playable and you played through you know all the titles and you were using her you wouldn't you know complain about the way she looks in any of the games i think people that are fans of Xiao Chao wouldn't mind the outfits that she uses in any of the games because it pretty much looks the same in all the games so her appearance in the games pretty much stay the same and finally let's move on to her relationships because uh Xiao Chao doesn't have any significant battles she doesn't have uh her death is not displayed on screen or mentioned in any of the titles or anything like that so um, nothing to talk about there but uh, Relationship-wise, she only has really two main relationships, and that's with Zhou Yu, her husband, and Da Xiao, her sister. I mean, uh, you can also say Sun Se as well, because Sun Se was the husband of her sister, so I guess they had like an indirect relationship. You know, they, I'm sure they had to communicate and talk and stuff like that. And, you know, she's a very upbeat, sociable person. She's probably going to start conversations and stuff like that. But throughout the game, it's mainly between Zhou Yu, lots of cutscenes with Zhou Yu, and, of course, her sister. But... Um, that's pretty much all I have for Xiao Chao. There's not a lot of pertinent information around Xiao Chao. She, she's not, she's, I wouldn't say she's mysterious, but she doesn't have a lot of information around her. She doesn't play any, you know, big or significant role. She's just there as Zhou Yu's wife. She's another playable female character for, you know, anyone that wants to use her and stuff like that. But she doesn't have a lot of significance around her other than being Zhou Yu's wife and being the other Chao's sister. But, um, that's all I really have for Xiao Chao here. Number 65. And if you guys use Xiao Chao, let me know in the comment section if you guys like her, what's your favorite, you know, game to use her in, do you like her weapon style now, you know, is her moveset okay with you guys? Again, it's pretty much the same since uh, Dynasty Warriors 7, I believe, but um, if you guys use her, if you guys enjoyed using her, let me know down in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate it, like, comment, subscribe. It's a shorter video today, or a shorter video with Xiao Chao, because I don't, again, I don't have a lot of information around her. We covered everything that we need to cover on how she changed from the first game that she was in up until the latest game that she was in. But that's all I have, guys. We'll be back shortly for number 64. And uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.